Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we'll be continuing with our shell scripting course. And in today's video, I'm going to cover functions, uh, variables, their coding, uh, positional parameters, and local variables in a function. All right, so first, so, so you can see I'm on my terminal. And in this video, actually we are going to write our first script, right? So, <coughs> excuse me. So in this, uh, I mean, in order to write a script, you basically need to create a file. Let's call this my first script. And you need to give it an extension that it could be either bash and the very common extension which have been, I mean, have been in use for a very long time is sh. So sh actually re represent the bone shell and the bash extension represent the bone again shell, right? You can use any, hardly makes a difference. So I'll go with sh and the first thing in the script which I want to put is something called shebang right and I'll tell you what shebang is. So in fact uh, rather than starting with shebang let's just start a script right. So first thing which I want to cover is functions so I'll define a function and functions in shell script uh, their their main aim is basically uh, to implement uh, something called try that is do not repeat yourself right so they make your code modular uh, like in any other programming language you must have seen functions or more methods what you call right so they basically you put some functionality in a method and then you can just reuse the method the same function same thing happens in the shell script as well so you create functions with a common functionality and you can use those functions uh, anywhere in your script right so first uh, the syntax to create a function uh, you can either create function using the function uh, keyword function and then you can give it the name say hello right or which i want to i like to use is uh, just the name and followed up by the curly braces and then you sorry not the curly braces the braces normal braces and then you open the curly brace and you close the curly brace. So everything within this, uh, these braces is what your function, functional code is, right? So let's write some codes. Let's say echo hello world, most common. And let's echo the present working directory as well, right? And that's pretty much it. So let's save the file. Uh, in order to run the script, you need to give it execute permission. So chmod plus x, uh, my first script. Ah, sorry. There should not be any space. All right. And now in order to run the script, just give sh my first script and nothing happened, right? You can Put it in the comments why nothing happened but i'm anyway going to tell you so if we go to my first script dot sh you can see we have defined a function right but we have not called it anywhere and even in any programming language you define the function and then you call it somewhere right to execute it so in order to call that function i'll just call the name without the space why am i giving space Hello, right? And now let's run this and you can see it has executed. All right. But executing this shell script with sh, uh, I mean, this, this uh, syntax is actually, I mean, not appreciated, not liked. Uh, even I don't like doing this. So that's where the shebang comes in, right? We, uh, so let's go at the top of the file and let's put in shebang and tell what type of script this is. So this is going to be bash, so bin bash, right? If, I mean, if you have seen Python or Ruby script, they also define it for Python. If you have a specific version, you can actually, uh, what do you call? lock it with a specific version of Python uh, in the shebang. All right, so let's save this file. So now I can just do in my current directory, I can do this and this would be executed without the sh thing, right? All right, let me clear the screen. Again, let's go to my first script. 
so we have covered functions uh, the next thing i want to cover is variable coating so coating is very important in uh, uh, bash shell script so you have double quotes and single quotes and they have different meaning so let's see that by an example so let's get rid of these and this would actually also be covering the variable thing right so how you define a variable so you define a variable by defining a variable name and then giving it a value so I'm giving it my name right and then then you call it right so let's echo so first I'll do double colon dollar name right and then in the next line I would do single caller single call quote name and let's see what output we get when we execute the script so you can see uh, the first thing uh, the value was evaluated for the variable but when in the single quote it just printed out excuse me it just printed out the value which was in the quote as is right so it didn't interpret it as a, a variable it just printed out everything we gave it in the code so that's the difference between quoting uh, in bash script so you need to uh, keep in mind while quoting your variables in a shell script right let's go back in my, my script and the next thing we want to cover is uh, positional parameters uh, very important so positional parameters are basically built-in <coughs> The variables which you can use in your script right and they are since the name says positional parameters they have a position on the command line as one two three four and so on right so let's see uh, it's uh, so suppose I want to echo the first positional parameter uh, which is actually represented by dollar one right and there is also a zero uh, positional parameter which is basically the name of the script so if i echo dollar zero it would actually it is going to echo the name of the script and since i am in a function i need to pass these positional parameters right so dollar one i think dollar one is enough let's run this my first script and I would say give it a positional parameter called test right so you can see for dollar one it has printed out test and for dollar zero it has printed out the name of the script so that's what positional parameters are uh, there are a couple of uh, what do you call it's a couple of uh, interesting strings which are there uh, uh, let's go inside a script and I'll show you so there is one call ah. there is one something called dollar star right and then there is another dollar at the rate Thing I just put an extra dollar here right so let's see what we print when we print these and in this this time I'm actually going to give my script few more positional parameters let's run it so you can see uh, for dollar star it has given me the first uh, positional parameter and even for dollar at the rate so there is actually a very minor difference between and I made actually I made a mistake I also had to pass these parameters over here So yeah, so there is a minor difference between the dollar star and dollar at the rate. So dollar star actually prints out all the positional parameter you pass uh, separated by the internal field separator. 
So IFS, I will cover in later videos what is IFS inter internal field separator, but that's what you need to know. And whereas dollar at the rate is basically something of uh, uh, where you can actually loop over your uh, positional parameters, right? So I'll just show you an example what I mean. So by default, IFS is actually a space tab and a new line, right? Uh, but if suppose I do IFS equal say comma, I'm not sure if it goes inside the quotes. So let's put it inside the quotes, a comma, and then run it. So you can see dollar star actually printed out the variable separated by the comma, whereas dollar at the rate has printed out them as is, right? So I mean, we'll go over these concepts in detail when we'll do some looping and stuff. Uh, but for now, you can just understand that dollar star prints out all the positional parameters separated by the IFS. Let's clear the screen go inside our script again and the last thing which I want to cover is uh, variable so local variable basically so local variable is local to a function so if I let's so in at the top I want to define a variable uh, say I'll call it uh, where one and it would be equal to elephant right and inside so I want to get rid of all this code in my function right and inside I want to define a local var1 and var1 would be equal to lion and we'll just echo dollar var1 we'll come out of our function and we'll echo dollar where one and then we'll call a function and this time we don't need the positional parameters so let's see let's execute the script we don't need the positional parameters so you can see we got elephant and we got line <coughs> but elephant is printed first and then the line and it's very simple Although we defined a same variable, but where one, since we told that this is going to be a local uh, variable for this function, that's why it was just executed within this function. Whereas as we move out of the function, where one was defined as elephant and we echoed it out, that's why elephant was printed first and then we called our function. And in our function, where one was lion, so it executed that and echoed where one as lion. So that this is how you basically define a local variable to a function. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you like the videos. Uh, I've also started a member community where I would be giving one on one mentorship. So please do consider subscribing to that as well. Uh, apart from that, yeah, we'll be continuing with the shell scripting course. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel before leaving. And thank you for watching.